hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is hope in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make this beautiful mulatto scrub with your caro white cream and if you like to see that watch this video till the end so the first product we'll be using for our mulatto scrub will be the caro white cream which is the base which is going to serve as the base caro white cream is a formula rich in b carotene and vitamin E in order to make your skin light, manageable, and certain smooth. Its components and active principles are specifically analyzed to deep nourish your skin, protect it, and give you a feeling of well-being. Now, make sure that your carotone comes like this, come sealed like this. As you can see, I'm the one peeling this out. So if your carotone comes without this seal, you probably must have gotten a, an um, open carotone or maybe fake i don't know so but make sure that it comes seal and this is what it looks like inside it's really creamy i wouldn't be able to go through the ingredient list but all i can say is it has ingredients like glycerine it has um car carrot oil it has um hydroquinone so it has 2% hydroquinone. So this is a previous container of um, an exhausted caro white that I used to make scrub for my aunt. So I'm not a fan of caro white, but she uses it and it works perfectly for her. I've used it in the past, but I don't use it anymore uh -huh, because my skin doesn't really like it. But then I'll be making this scrub with it because it's really nice. And, you know, I got a lot of feedback that it's nice. So I'll be putting in um, my carry white into a clean container this container is already clean my hands are washed so i'll be putting in three spoons of the carry white cream into my mixing bowl this cream is super thick like i don't know how i was using this cream that time and i was enjoying it what this is like the cream of my go-to cream then when i don't know what to use i just come back to it with the soap it was lightening me at one point, giving me dark knuckles. That's why I had to stop. And then there was a time it just stopped working completely. <laughs> Anyways, the next um, product will be our Vaseline Blue Seal, Vaseline Jelly. So you can use any um, petroleum jelly of your choice. So the Vaseline Jelly in this um, scrub will help um, moisturize the skin. We know that um, Caro White can be very drying. This is the one I've, I used, I've used before. It's like a stable when it comes to skincare for me. So I'll be putting one spoon of the petroleum jelly into the caro white cream for hydration. We need to keep our skin moisturized after scrubbing, so it's going to give a moisturizing effect. So then after that, I'm going to be stirring it. Make sure you, you know, stir this together to combine it properly so that the whole product can marry together. You know what I mean, guys. So let's give this a very good stir before we move on to the next product so now that we've mixed this together the next product to be using for this will be our Dettol Dettol is an antiseptic disinfectant and this is going to be very ideal for this um, mixture for this crop because we don't want to start having rashes and so this is going to help prevent skin inflammation um, with using our scrubs so now that we have applied the Dettol antiseptic, we're going to mix this thoroughly all over again. Don't forget to mix, mix, mix. Make sure that all of the products are well combined together. So I'm going to take a few seconds to mix this. So now the next ingredient we're going to be using that cannot be skipped in this whole process will be our sugar. Sugar will serve as our abrasive ingredient in this crop. It is a natural humectant. It helps in exfoliating dead skin cells, thereby rejuvenating the skin, which makes it important for us in this crop. So I'm going to stir this very well. Give it a very good stir to look like this. And now another thing is, so you can add as much as you need um, to get the consistency you want. For me, I want the scrub to be um, a bit abrasive. I want to feel the effect of the sugar because I'll be wetting my body when I'm going to be applying it. So I'll still be adding more sugar as I'm going. I'll be adding more sugar until it is enough. So I used a whole of that cup 
Yes, that's I use the whole of that for the three spoons of the um, carrot white. So whatever works for you, I just like it to be a bit thick. I like to feel, if you still want it thicker than this, it, well, it's up to you. But then, having um, experienced this one, I don't think I want it thicker than this. Even though I want it abrasive, I don't want it extremely abrasive. So that's the consistency that I'm going for. And it's super yummy. Did you guys see that this is looking like an ice cream? Like, <laughs> this is actually looking like an ice cream. I was tempted. So I'll be transferring this into the empty container that I already have before. So there are so many ways you can use um, the Cara White Cream. There are so many amazing things you can use it, use it for. So even though you don't want to apply the Cara White Cream on your skin directly, like to leave it on your skin, there are other things that you can use it for. And yes, I'm going to be trying out this scrub, even though I really, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a fan of um, Cara White Cream, but I'm going to be using this scrub. Because then the lotion that I'm using now is not, it has nothing like lightning in it. I'll be introducing it to you guys very soon. I have a lot of, um, I have some new products that I'm trying out. Oh my God. And I'm so loving it. So it's nothing like lightning. So I just want to be using this scrub for now to see, you know, to boost the effect of my lotion. This is the rest of the curry white cream. I'm going to be mixing this for my sister. Like, I need to show you guys how I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be showing you guys in my next video how I'll be mixing the rest of that um, lotion. So now let's go to application. So I've rinsed, I've washed my, I almost said rinsed. So I've washed my, my skin, which is like the first thing you should do before scrubbing. I've thoroughly washed my skin with um, clean water and soap. And now this is me applying the scrub. Guys, can you see how the scrub is on the skin? Honestly, I didn't expect it to be like this when I first made it. Because when I first made it, I would like to you. I did not try it on. I was scared of using it. But I saw this um, uh, procedure and I said, let me try it for my sister who already uses the product, who is okay with using the product. So I was very scared to try it. You can see the consistency is super nice. I like it. So when, you know, I haven't gotten a lot of good reviews from her, the way she was so excited about the product, the scrub, the whole mixture, I was like, okay, okay, okay. Maybe we should give this a trial. And then, you know, that is why I am doing this. And I super, super love how it feels on the skin. I can't even lie. You can see that I'm, I'm just rubbing it on. Like I almost forgot that I was recording. It's super nice on the skin, super beautiful. The consistency is perfect. And yes, the Vaseline in it actually helps with moisturization. So it didn't feel dry on my skin. And then it was just gliding. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't, it was just nice. I don't want to exaggerate. So you really need to try this scrub. It's going to give you like two, three shades lighter, depending on the lotion you're using afterwards. And also it didn't take time for me to prepare all of this. It didn't take more than 15 minutes. And that was because I was recording alongside. So if you're going to be trying this, it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. Please make sure you go in with a very hydrating moisturizer because you know that the, our base um, is uh, carry white and it can be drying. So it is super, super affordable to get all of the products that I use here and very easy to get. So for better results, I would advise you do this at night. So I won't be using this scrub every day because, of course, I wouldn't advise anyone to um, use scrub on their skin every blessed day. And then, yes, use it at night for, you know, best result, like I said earlier on, because you don't want to do this, exfoliate your skin and then go into the sun. Like, I really like how my skin feels after doing this. It feels very nourished and moisturized. And yes, the moisturizer too helped because I just went in with a hydrating moisturizer. I don't want anything that will dry my skin. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please do well to smash the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.